Hey guys, this is Bert with InformalGadget.com and today I'm going to show you guys a neat little feature that Lion has running on Macintosh computers. Uh, it's called AirDrop and most of the new computers 2010 and up I believe will support it right out the box but um, your older computers 2010 and older they don't support it. Apple just didn't, couldn't, I guess they didn't want to support it because it doesn't have the new uh, Wi Fi features that, that allow the AirDrop to work um, seamlessly. So if you look here on my new MacBook Air and I go to Finder, you'll see on the left hand side here that it says AirDrop, and you'll see that there's a, a circle here with your name on it of your computer. and what this allows you to do is if you have another Macintosh computer running Lion you'll be able to transfer files from one Macintosh to another without having to uh, connect a USB stick or a memory card or anything else you could just easily wirelessly send your uh, your document your mp3 or whatever whatever files you want to send over wirelessly you could send it as long as you have the both of the the Macintosh computers running uh, and having the Wi-Fi activated. So what uh, you basically do is just uh, drag the file and drag it to your computer to whichever uh, Macintosh computer you want to. But if you notice over here on my uh, older iMac, if I go to Finder, I don't have AirDrop. It doesn't support it. So there's an easy way to, to make your older Macintosh computers um, running Lion support airdrop what you need to do is go down in my description and copy the the part where it says to activate uh, airdrop um, just copy the whole thing and you're gonna come up here to your search and type in terminal and hit enter once you do that you're gonna this this little page will open up and you're gonna hold down command, the command button on your keyboard and the letter V. It'll paste it on there and all you do is just hit enter and then you could just quit out of terminal and then you're gonna come over here to back to your finder and you're gonna hold down the option key and you're gonna right click finder. As you can see right here it's, it says relaunch. You're gonna relaunch your finder. So click on that it relaunches and as you can see right here now you have AirDrop activated. Now I found my new MacBook Air and uh, I'm down here. So all I have to do is just find a file that I want to transfer and I can wirelessly send it to my MacBook Air or any other Macintosh computer on, this, on your Wi-Fi network and it'll wirelessly send it. So I just drag that over here, let it go, and it's asking me if I'm sure I want to send that file. I click send, and it's telling me that it's waiting for my MacBook Air to accept it. As you can see over here on my MacBook Air, it's telling me if I want to save it or if I want to decline it. So I want to save it, hit save, and it saves to your downloads folder. Um, then I could do the same thing back. So I could send this one to my Mac. Okay, so this is one of the problems, and this is probably why uh, Apple ended up not letting the older Macintosh computers um, use AirDrop, is because, as you could see, the my older Macintosh computer just disappeared off AirDrop. So the way around it that I found is you got to be a little bit quick. So say on my new MacBook Air, I want to transfer something from my new MacBook Air to my old uh, Macintosh computer. What I have to do is get something on my old Mac and send it. So then send it, save, and as soon as it saves, I'm going to send my whatever file I want to send to my old Mac and send it right away before it, before it disappears. So hit send, and then on my old Mac, it's going to ask me the same thing, save, and it saves. Okay, after a while you'll see that it, my old Macintosh will, will disappear. Um, I've never seen the, the, the new Macintosh that actually supports AirDrop disappear, so it, it'll stay on. 
but it's just always the old Macintosh computers that, that don't show on the on the network. So now uh, if you have this feature and you like it, awesome. You know, you could use it back and forth. It's it's a very, very good option to have instead of having to go to, through the hassle to get a memory card and, and transfer files. Um, it works pretty awesome, especially if you have two two Macintosh computers that, that are running Lion and, and actually support AirDrop. But it also works well with the older Macintosh computer. Uh, as long as it's running Lion and uh, you activate it the way I showed you, if this is something you don't want or you want to deactivate and take it off of your old Macintosh, you could easily do it by uh, just going down to my description and copying the deactivate code. So just right click, copy it, and then go to the same thing, terminal. Hit enter. And then you're going to go down here and again hold command and you're going to hit V. It's going to show the, um, it's basically the same command, but just at the end you're, you're going to put a zero instead of a one. You're going to hit enter and then you can quit out of terminal again. And then again go to your finder, hold down option, right click finder, relaunch. And once we go into finder again, as you can see, uh, airdrop's not in there. So if this tutorial helped you out, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you need any more help, uh, leave some comments. I try to answer my question or your questions as, uh, as fast as possible. Um, hope you liked the video and don't forget to visit informalgadget.com. Thank you.